so good morning friends uh today it's not a morning actually it's it's evening the video is going to come in the morning so right now i'm driving my uh, hyundai creta sx executive petrol 1.5 manual and i have driven it for more than 7000 kilometers uh, in the last six months of ownership and uh, let me share with you uh, an ownership update after uh, 7000 kilometers so uh, first i'll start with the pros of the car what i what i feel about some of the components of the car how it drives uh, looks com how comfortable it is uh, for the driver as well as for the passengers and uh, then i'll discuss some something about the things which i do not like about this car so first and foremost uh, the looks okay uh, in terms of looks uh, looks are subjective for sure but uh, this is a model looking car i would say it follows the hyundai's new design follows a uh, philosophy of uh, sensuous sportiness what they called it uh, the looks are polarizing for sure when i first saw it in the auto expo uh, i did not like it especially from the front but uh, the design itself has grown on me uh, the previous creta everybody is saying is it's a very good looking car but uh, with with time you need to update the design right uh, the oh, the old car the design looked a bit dated but now this this design looks modern everybody might not like it but uh, but it has grown on and that that's that's reflecting in the sales of the car maybe not for just for the looks but uh, the overall packaging of this car is very good and so uh, the back I, li I like the back a lot with this uh, with the tail lights and the headlights the symmetrical tail lights and the headlights uh, now coming to the headlights there's a lot of complaints on the led setup uh, which which uh, which i have uh, unfortunately i haven't had the chance to test it completely how how it feels uh, in complete darkness but for city driving I would say adequate I haven't tested it for uh, in the highways and whatever highway I have driven on uh, I did not feel uh, anything poor about it but uh, again I have not driven on complete darkness now the LED setup in uh, in in all all of the cars like I, I see the complaints in Honda City I see the complaints for uh, Seltos also so unless and until I test it I can't say uh, anything about it uh, this uh, the cabin space is very good uh, talking about the interior the cabin space is good you get a lot of uh, room for the passengers as well as for the drivers the seats are supremely comfortable and and the marquee feature which is the sunroof so this is this is a kind of a show off kind of a feature uh, it's it makes the cabin ambience look uh, or feel fantastic this this is something that you want to uh, enjoy on leisurely on an evening drive or uh, in the monsoon or if you are tra driving in the mountains this is absolute bliss and and if you have young kids uh, in in the car they absolutely love it my family loves it uh, the view from the back uh, is very nice a lot of people have asked me whether this uh, because of the sunroof whether it affects the ac cooling i would say no if if you can close the shade in uh, very high temperatures also the ac cools uh, now i generally put it under 21 or 22 max uh, under uh, auto settings and it it chills the ac chills if you if you close the uh, sunset now people ask whether in this climate it is good to have the panoramic sunroof or not it's definitely way better than the small sunroofs the other cars offer and and this is a differentiating factor for the crater right a lot of people will buy it for this even if you don't stick your neck out which i don't recommend but if you just open the shade you get so much of light and the cabin experience is superb now uh, in terms of the cabin uh, there are a lot and a lot of hard plastics everywhere so you don't get any soft touch material in the higher versions at least you get uh, soft touch on the 
door pads uh, door uh, the armrest on the door pad but in this uh, sx executive version you don't get that uh, the plastics are of good quality except the center console which which you, you have some problems which i'll mention in the cons the quality is not that adequate uh, compared to other and the overall fit and finish of the cards the panel gaps and everything is perfect uh, it's it's consistent the quality levels are good the seats are very very comfortable it, it this this car this version does not come with the ventilated seat feature but uh, in the uh, higher versions you are going to get the ventilated seats but uh, overall the seat comfort is good uh, you have uh, decent under thigh support a uh, lot of leg room at the back and uh, yeah it got, got a good shoulder room and the cushioning and the back angle is also adjustable so you can get a very good uh, sitting position and and the overall uh, theme of this car with this white and black uh, combination and large windows the sunroof uh, you get uh, you do not get a very claustrophobic feel uh, you you uh, tend to enjoy and you can spend long times in the car without getting physically or mentally tired uh, coming to the engine options you get a lot of engine options uh, with the Kretal engine and the gearbox combination but uh, today i'm going to specifically talk about this version this is a 1.5 liter petrol manual and it's a naturally aspirated engine not uh, turbocharged okay now i get a lot of questions on this engine and this gearbox combination first a note on the gearbox it's it's supremely smooth it's sleek and it's smooth the clutch is light the controls are light and the gear shifting it's so smooth you won't hear anything and coming to the engine also the engine is so refined it's it's supremely refined the noise insulation that hyundai has put in under the bonnet and on the inner walls that walks wonder you can hardly hear the noise of the engine it's it's uh, i would say it's more refined than the ivtech uh, from honda uh, and uh, the power figures are decent uh, it's not very high uh, in in terms of the turbo uh, engine that that we have but uh, the, it's for a city commute or for cruising on the highway this engine is the best why i tell you the there is no lack of power first and foremost the most important question that i get is is it under part i haven't felt so does it have the torque of a diesel or uh, the turbo power definitely no this is a naturally aspirated engine so all the power delivery is very very linear and this engine is very very tractable you don't have to shift gears often lower speeds higher gear it can manage you can pull there's no turbo lag in the city it it, it just works there is definitely a push of power uh, after uh, 1500 rpm or around 2000 rpm where you can feel that it, it has the punch especially in the third gear the first two gears are okay -ish, I, I would say first and the second but once it moves to the third gear at over 2000 rpm it can pull uh, definitely it, it, it pulls does it have the punch mid uh, mid-range punch of the turbo definitely not but it also does not have the lag of the turbo now uh, both the diesel engine the diesel engine is also very refined which i have uh, which i have seen uh, which i have felt it's more refined than any other manufacturer's engine but in terms of uh, supreme refinement this is the engine now the turbos there would be higher maintenance cost there would be lower fuel economy for sure so all in all for a normal city drive that is going to satisfy 90 percent of the uh, customers i would say and for cruising on the highways even in triple digit uh, digit speeds this is perhaps the best combination with the manual okay now if you want more power you can definitely go for the turbo with its own pre uh, set of uh, pros and cons the uh, turbo would be there if you want low end torque good fuel economy i would say go for the diesel uh, 
and if you want convenience you can go to the you can you can use the ivt version which is a hyundai term for cvt for relaxed driving and fuel economy and for greater performance i would suggest that dct though it has its own sets of problem but in terms of overall fuel economy that that i'm getting uh, within the city with bumper to bumper traffic it it would give you a fuel economy of around 9 to 10 max if you are driving with a lighter foot uh, then it it would go up to around 11 to 12 max within the city and on the highways uh, what i have seen is uh, if you are just cruising around 80 to 90 or 90 to 100 kind of uh, kind of uh, speed you are going to get a fuel economy in the range of uh, 16 to 17 it goes up to 18 also if you are driving with a very light foot and uh, if you are if you are pushing it if you are pushing it uh, very fast i have tried with speeds of around over 120 which i do not recommend on india and uh, highways especially the unguarded highways you are going to get a fuel economy in the range of 14 to 15 so overall this i am i'm i'm quite satisfied with the engine i means i am not a heavy driver uh, so i generally tend to drive with a lighter foot uh, especially considering the fuel economy and i think this is a best suited engine for it uh, i i am coming from uh, previously owned uh, diesel uh, honda ms and the first thing when i shifted to this engine was which which really was significant was the lack of low end torque that you get in the diesel but that that is some some kind of habit that you have to adjust to if you if you like low end torque especially in cities and stuff like that diesel would be the best but in terms of refinement that it it's, it's a whole new ball game this this uh, this engine is extremely refined it's it's hardly audible what you can hear if you drive it fast is more of the wind noises and uh, the tire noise or the road noise what what you call and for that uh, the thing that is to be blame is the tires the stock tires are not good okay i already had a sidewall puncture which was repairable but in the long run sidewall punctures should not be uh, should always be replaced uh, you can replace the stock apollo tires with uh, michelin that would uh, reduce a bit of the fuel economy but uh, you are going to get a greater ride quality and as well as lesser noise road noises and you can also go for damping of the doors the, the doors are good but uh, it gets got a heft to it not as heavy as a ford or a vw kind of a car but uh, it's adequate and uh, you can you can definitely go for damping to reduce a bit of the noise but it's 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 very much acceptable the kind of noise level inside the cabin the cabin is very well insulated uh, you do not hear much and uh, now coming to the suspension uh, setup for this car so the suspension is bit on the softer side which is great for city driving so it can absorb all the potholes especially in 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 uh, on the uneven roads it's got a very flat ride uh, the suspension also works silently you do not get a lot of noise from the suspension it's not as soft as the old creta but it's definitely not as hard as an seltos so uh, if you try to push it round the corners or try to drive dynamically you can do it it's not uh, hard enough like a german car or a or a sedan where you get dynamically sorted uh, things uh, with this low center of gravity and uh, higher harder suspension uh, setup so what you get over here is a very very comfortable ride okay it's not that you can't push it around the corners it's uh, it's got a bit of stiffness uh, not like the last creta i would say where it was very very soft and uh, and you have to move around in 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 all directions uh, because of the softer setup so this is a good mix, mix of uh, this firmness as well as uh, softness 
and it it gives you a very very comfortable ride uh, on pothole ridden roads which are mostly the kind of roads that we get uh, in the city so the back seat passengers as well as the front seat ones would be very extremely comfortable in bad roads it's got a decent uh, ground clearance i would say good ground clearance so you are not going to uh, iron out uh, on on bad surfaces so it's got a 17 inch uh, wheels uh, alloy wheels this this version uh, this is the machine cut i would have liked the diamond cut which looks far better than this uh, machine cut one especially on this black version but the ride quality is definitely very very good very good and uh, you are going to have a comfortable ride even in long distances uh one of the questions that i get frequently is on the steering response of this uh, creta now hyundai is of the past have been known for very uh, poor steerings in terms of feedback uh, their steerings are generally very light which is ideal for city driving but uh, does not give you enough confidence around the corners in highway or in high speeds but this steering is a bit different so it's very light uh, in uh, lower speeds and weighs up extremely well uh, on the highways on a high speeds so it will give you a lot of confidence when you try to push it around the corners and uh, it's not like the hyundai's of the past where you get a very uh, lifeless steering so the steering is direct and it gives you a decent amount of feedback uh, the thing which i like is uh, since it's very light so maneuvering this big car inside lanes in in cities where you want to park that that is a very that 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 gives you a very comfortable or a convenient way to do it because of the light steering and it weighs up pretty well on the highways at higher speeds now coming to the rest rest of the things okay so the first thing this is feature loaded okay so you get all kinds of creature comfort especially if you buy the top end version uh, absolutely top version you are going to get the ventilated seat which is missing in this car but apart from that it it has everything it has an auto ac it's got a one touch cruise control which which works brilliantly and the resume function on that one touch click uh, cruise control is absolutely fine so you just have to click one button and this uh, and the cruise activates so it's got this cruise uh, feature in this uh, version it did not come with a touch screen uh, because of this uh, shortage of uh, chips but uh, uh, i put an android system which is which is kind of average it, it gets the job done the speaker system is good you get four speakers and two tweeters in this uh, in this version this was pre installed in the executive version also the camera came pre installed so you just had to fit the music system and i i thought that uh, for the 10 inch screen the difference between the sx and the sx executive was around uh, nearly uh, 80 to 90000 so i thought that was a good compromise since you are getting the sunroof also in the ex executive version apart from that you get auto headlamps foldable uh, mirrors or vm mirrors uh, retractable keyless entry start stop button so the so the feature list is endless so you get a very good feature list you don't get this uh, in the in the higher version you get this uh, ventilated seats extra you get the traction con uh, traction control is also there i'll come to that in the safety part of it uh, you get this drive modes which you get in this automatic version or the dct and the ivt version but uh, apart from that uh, this this comes this comes feature loaded so you don't have to spend uh, too much extra on on fitting something from the uh, from the aftermarket so in in terms of features a, a big thumbs up to hyundai hyundai cars have always been feature rich that that is something that uh, that they have never compromised maybe they have, they will put in some useless features also but uh, in terms of features you you you'll get everything in the in this car now uh, coming to the safety front so when i bought this car it was not tested on the global ncap but uh, seltos was tested at that moment and being the sibling and the same platform with 
lot of lot of things shared in the engine the gearbox and every part was shared with Celto so I thought that it's going to get uh, minimum four star because the previous Ket Creta also got four star but uh, it, it came with three stars so which is which is kind of bad uh, with with packing in so much uh, Hyundai should have put in a decent body shell at least to get four star uh, in terms of safety tech what you get is uh, two airbags in this version uh, the SX optional version gets six airbags uh, and apart from that it has the hill hold assist uh, the electronic stability or the vehicle stability management ABS EBD those those come as standard but uh, in terms of body shell what was tested in global NCAP uh, that that came out as just about three stars so uh, it's, it's disappointing for sure but when when you sit inside the car okay and you feel the materials or the doors or if you if you lift the bonnet you don't feel that it's flimsily made you get a good heft especially the bonnet uh, if, you, if you try to open it with one hand it's it's quite heavy the doors also feel heavy I'm not sure how it got three stars maybe because of the structure which you can't test but again uh, again that's that's disappointing and a car which costs around 15 lakh uh, that that's disappointing to get a three star something for Hyundai to work upon in the next version now uh, let me discuss about this uh, ownership experience so this this car was even now also it's selling like hotcakes it's very difficult to get a car i i booked it and got it within two months through the click to buy uh, procedure i'll uh, provide a link in the description of how how that experience was but uh, from the buying experience to the first free service that i had uh, uh, that 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 was nothing of a service it's just washed and uh, given back the car was there's no issues but in this 7000 kilometers there has been no issues there has been no niggles there has been no uh, rattling sound whatsoever coming from uh, any of the panels the panels look well built uh, next video maybe i'll uh, show you the cost of the first service after the the second service rather which is on the 10000 kilometers and only the engine oil would be changed i guess uh, and uh, the service cost at least what what they're showing in the app looks quite low uh, compared to uh, other manufacturers and uh, the one time experience i had with the service center was quite good uh, they were helpful they listened to they were listening to any issues that i was trying to address but uh, uh, during the first 1000 kilometers there was more of a query rather than issues of uh, anything happening and today standing at 7000 kilometers i don't see any issues as of now uh, there's there's no rattles or something that i need to report to hyundai but uh, yeah it should be a good uh, experience uh, based on whatever feedback i have from uh, my friends and family who have hyundai cars and uh, do the service uh, within, within the kolkata circle so it should be good uh, now coming to the things which I do not like or would have liked it to be better First is the center console the gear lever console which we have of all the plastics in the car This is a inferior quality plastic and it makes noise when your feet touches with it And I don't know means why this one panel is of so poor quality second con that uh, that that I would like to say is this IRVM inside it's a manual IRVM it's not an automatic electrochromatic uh, IRVM so cars within in a lower segment also get this so we should have got this I think it's in the higher version but not in this version but still that's a miss overall uh, there are a lot of hard plastics uh, there should have been some softer materials especially when you look at cars like this uh, mg aster which has got a lot of lot of uh, soft touch leather feel so that's another one and uh, the fourth one i would say is the request sensor which is only given on the driver's door 
it should have also come in the passengers too. Uh, the fifth one that I want to say is uh, this uh, buttons for the window controls. Uh, though they are of very good quality, it's missing the backlight feature. And the backlight is only for the driver's side window, but not for the others. And these these are the couple of things uh, that I would like Hyundai to improve. Uh, based on whatever price they are commanding this this features should have been there so overall uh, I am very satisfied with this uh, car uh, so far has been a very good uh, ownership experience uh, the car is very comfortable especially uh, since I do a lot of long uh, drives or uh, long trips on this car so the prime uh, factor while deciding to buy a new car was uh, people should be comfortable in the long drives and not get fatigued and that that has been uh, the biggest takeaway from this car that people after even driving uh, for more than 10 10 hours at a stretch neither the driver nor the passengers get uh, really fatigued so and it's got a very good engine with which is very refined uh, it's got a decent amount of power the comfort factor is also good as as well as this uh, panoramic sunroof which makes the cabin experience absolutely wonderful write down in the comments below if you uh, if you want some more information on specific features or uh, if you have any queries regarding this car and i'll be happy to help thanks for watching